Um, you've probably heard it said that food has changed more and how food is produced has changed more in the last 50 years than it has in the past 5,000 years. I believe that's true, but you have to ask, how exactly has it changed? And, and it's changed in a lot of different ways. But I want to share with you a, a, a quote uh, from a, a gentleman by the name of Dr. Linnaeus Pauling. Uh, Dr. Linnaeus Pauling was a scientist, an a, a American scientist, a biochemist. Uh, he was a, a peace activist, an author, and an educator. And here's what he had to say. As a matter of fact, new scientists called him one of the top 20 greatest scientists of all time. And here's what he had to say about health and nutrition and food. Dr. Linnaeus Pauling said that every ailment and every sickness and every disease can be traced back to an organic trace mineral deficiency. That's a powerful statement, especially because if, if you go back to that question, how has food changed? When you look at the mineral density of our food, it has dramatically declined over the past 50 years. Take, for example, an apple. To get the same amount of mineral nutrients from an apple today, you would have to eat 15 apples to equal the, the mineral uh, density of, a food, of an apple 50, 60 years ago. That's how dramatic it has been. And, and when it comes to producing foods with mineral density, that all comes back to the health of the soil and the life that's in the soil. And what industrial agriculture has done over the past 50, 60 years has been to kill the life in the soil through the chemicals that are being used. And without life in the soil, a healthy soil has over two to 3,000 pounds per acre of living life forms below our feet. But when we apply chemicals to the land, it kills the life forms. And it's the life in the soil that makes the, the minerals available in the food. And folks, this is not a new idea. I wanna read a, a few other quotes from you from people throughout time that understood this basic truth. Uh, just going back to Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt once said, the nation that destroys its soils destroys itself. He understood the principle and the value of, of, the, of having a healthy soil. Uh, go back to Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson said that while the farmer holds the title to the land, actually it belongs to all the people because civilization itself rests upon the soil. And then going back to uh, 430 BC, Xenophon once said, to be a successful farmer, one must first know the nature of the soil. Folks, it all comes, when it comes back, uh, to when, it, when it comes to food, and when it comes to our health, it all, all goes back to the health of the soil. So as we go throughout this tour, we're going to be talking about what it takes to have a healthy soil. Because at Seven Sons, for the past 20 years, we have been on a mission, folks, to heal the soil here at our farm. We have 550 acres uh, that we produce food on. And it is, it is our number one priority to heal the soil because if we have life in the soil and we have a healthy soil, there will be nutrients available in the food. And that is what is going to provide healing to us who, who consume uh, that food. So that is a basic principle I just wanted to share with you because everything that we're talking about ties back to that. And we're gonna be talking about how our farming practices tie back to the soil and healing the soil so we can have uh, healthy soil, healthy plants, healthy animals, and healthy communities.